and welcome to our special edition of MC and Focus, created for our graduating class of 2016. I'm Morning K. Rossman. And I'm Michael Ginsburg. First of all, we would like to congratulate all of the Montgomery College graduates this year. Congratulations, guys. For this program, we're going to be looking at some student-produced news stories from the past semester. Up first is some information from Jamisa Brown and Morning K. Rossman about the value of joining a club on campus. Being a college student at Montgomery College can already be taxing. You have classes, work, assignments. Why would you want to add club activities? Well, here are five reasons why you should join a club. Uh, people should join a club because while we're here at MC, it's not like everyone lives here. Everyone is in and out of this college all the time. And so this gives them a community here on campus in a club, you get to be surrounded by people who share similar interests. This helps build a strong connection to the college and you get to spend time with friends. When you join a club, you get to enrich your Montgomery College experience just a little bit more. When I first got to MC, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't know many people. I was pretty new here. But joining a club really gave me that full college experience and I've never been happier. I like to be in a club that explores my passion and inspirations. In a club, you get to learn and explore interests that might not necessarily be involved in your major. Extracurricular work shows that you are committed, that you work well among others, and if you're an officer for a club, that shows that you have leadership skills. And last but not least, it's fun. It's no secret that college can be stressful. Being part of a club can be a fun escape from classes, a place to hang out with your friends and explore your interests without the stress of having grades. Three words to describe this club would be fun, challenging, and electric. Well, there you have it. Five reasons why you should join a club. I'm Morning K. Rossman, and you're watching MC in Focus. As I was saying, it is really important to have a place on campus where you feel comfortable, even if that place isn't a club. For example, it could be the stage. Our classmates Carlos Vinhas and Alan Ramsey took a look at what goes on behind the curtain when a play is in production. Hello and welcome to Behind the Curtain. I'm Alan Ramsey and last week we interviewed Professor Kenyatta Rogers who's the head of the theater department. We'll be giving you an inside look on what it takes to get a play onto the stage. Theater is a gathering of performers and audience to watch a story through time. Theater is a medium that brings many creative ideas together for a common goal. There's something that wants to be spoken. A playwright will hear it, write it down, have lots of revisions and edits, will collaborate with a traumaturg or with a director or with some like-minded people who want to hear what they have to say. The process for getting a play ready to be viewed mustn't be rushed. Uh, about nine months out, director is introduced to the playwright or the playwright's work. About seven to six months out from opening night, the designers come in and share their ideas with the director. By the time we get to our actors, they're not introduced until the last month. So about five weeks from opening night or four weeks from opening night, the actors are introduced. So it's a journey from one place to the next, from a place of ignorance to the light and enlightenment. That is all from Behind the Curtain, and I hope to see you in the audience. Then we get to opening night, we add the last ingredient, which is the audience. MC has a rich history of putting on fantastic plays, almost as rich as the history of MC itself. Victoria Mell and Cody Egan will tell us how Montgomery College grew from a part of a high school into the three campuses we all know and love today. Hi, I'm Cody Egan, and I'm currently standing in the Science Building at Montgomery College. I'm currently on the Rockville campus, which is one of Montgomery College's three campuses, alongside Germantown and Tacoma Park. What many of you probably don't know is it took Montgomery College a long time to get here. Did you know that when Montgomery College first started, the classes were being held out of a high school? Or did you know that when it first started, Montgomery College only had eight full-time faculty members? Over the next minute, we're going to be learning a lot about MC. Montgomery College had its humble beginnings back in 1946. 
The college was called Montgomery Junior College and was run out of a high school. Bethesda Chevy Chase High School hosted the college classes at night. The college was created for veterans, even though plenty of local high school graduates attended as well. The school's founding dean, Hugh Price, was one of only eight full-time staff members, teaching a total of 186 students in their first year. After MC's first couple of years, the college had to expand quickly to match their growing size. MJC bought what was called the Bliss Electric School at the time. Most students know this now as Tacoma Park Campus. It wasn't until 16 years later that Montgomery College bought the lot for Rockville campus, and another year later until they bought the Germantown campus. It was around then that alumni Lon Anderson started taking classes at MC. That whole period was exciting. We had a, a new college, and everyone was excited about this new campus. Uh, everything we did here was a first, and it was a kind of time when there was a lot of energy because of the Vietnam War, because of civil rights. Students wanted to be involved in that, and they were involved in that. And that energy, which was national and local, and of course, you gotta remember that nationwide, students flocked to Washington to do their protesting, and we were already here. Since then, the college has changed names and grown to hold over 60,000 students a year. As you can see, Montgomery College has changed a lot over the years. We have a rich history that we're still making today. I'm Cody Egan, and this is MC in Focus. Cody is right. We are still creating a rich history, starting in our own department with the radio station. Marcus Sampson and Shenny Hoffman will fill you in on the new state-of-the-art radio station. For those who don't know, E-Radio WMCR is the official radio station of Montgomery College, tucked away in the Technical Center on the Rockville campus. The creative force behind MC's radio program is Tiffany Copeland, and she's confident that the new state-of-the-art equipment will help get the word out. Now, some of you are probably wondering, what in the world is Scott Studios and what's Zeta? Well, Scott Studios is actually an old, old, old antiquated automation system. Now, Zeta does the exact same thing. The difference is, is that Zeta was created almost two decades later. Our new software that we have now is Zeta, which is top of the line, uh, software and it's used by a lot of the iHeart radio stations so it is an industry standard system. It can do a lot of things. Radio production students are trained to broadcast their own programs live on the air and for their final course in the program they work together to manage eRadio WMCR. I just love having my own show on WMCR. It's a wonderful experience. New software just makes everything easier to from uh, going on the air and just starting the music or playing commercials and on top of that Professor Copeland has just made everything so much better and she's very like really available for the students and she's a great help. The radio certificate and degree programs prepare students to be disc jockeys, board operators or freelancers in the world of audio production. This is EU Radio WMCR. I'm Alejandro, your host for the next hour. I got you in cruise control. Any student at Montgomery College is welcome to have their very own radio show. It doesn't just have to be radio students. Now, if you are not a radio student and you're interested in having your own radio show, you'd actually have to take a class, and the class is a 280 course, and you would just be basically a host for the whole duration of the semester. I would essentially find a radio student who can operate the board, and all that student would have to worry about is just speaking on air. Their presence, their on-air sound, just crystallizing that on-air sound. We're really excited about all the upgrades coming to the radio station. For MC in Focus, I'm Shenny Hoffman. It's exciting for the radio station after such an extreme makeover. And that's not all, MC is upgrading. I worked with Cesar Martinez to put together this video about the new parking garage. It's expected to be finished this fall. Hi, I'm Michael Ginsberg, and coming to Montgomery College here in Rockville is a new state-of-the-art parking garage. It is located on North Campus Drive adjacent to parking lot four. With over 900 parking spots and several motorcycle spaces, it will accommodate faculty and students. The garage will be highly attractive with a beautiful facade of sleek metal panels and a glass enclosed stair towers. Mark Pace, the transportation and parking manager at Montgomery College, tells us about the new technology and information that will be included in the parking garage. The garage will have Wi-Fi throughout any new buildings on campus. We do have a lot of students who like to sit in their car and and uh, do homework between a class. I'm excited for the new parking garage because it's gonna have Wi-Fi in there and we can stay in our cars and study before a big test. 
or we can do our assignments if we didn't have time to do it because life is crazy and most people don't have enough time to stay at home and do their assignments so it's a good thing and it's going to be beneficial for the students. It will have an electronic vehicle count system to show the amount of spaces available in each level. It will be energy efficient with solar panels and will include five electric car charging stations. Like the new Science Center and Science East buildings, it will also include beautiful landscaping around the building to help integrate the garage into the campus environment. Because I know a lot of students are late a lot. There was one time when I was 20 minutes late on a day we had a test. It would save not only myself but a lot of students time to get to class. That way we don't spend time circling the parking area trying to get a parking spot. The first two levels of the garage are going to be faculty staff parking and then from levels three through five will or three through seven will be student parking. If construction goes as scheduled, the garage is expected to open in fall of 2016. For MC Focus, I'm Michael Ginsburg. Sounds like the new parking garage is going to be awesome. Now let's look at some awesome moments in MC Sports this year with our sports reporter Bridget Gratton. This year was quite the year for sports at MC. The men's basketball had one of their best seasons in a long time, claiming the Maryland Juco title for the first time since the early 90s. Patrick Smith and D'Angelo Vaughn made first team Maryland Juco, and head coach Keith Bird was named Maryland Juco Coach of the Year. After only winning one game last year, MC softball was out to make a name for themselves. The girls went 20-15 and 15 in their season and ended up defeating the number one seed Westmoreland to claim the Region 20 title. In what was supposed to be a rebuilding year, the MC men and women's track team put in work and had one of their best seasons to date. As the team went off to nationals, the men's team finished fifth in the nation and the women's team came in seventh. Not only was Brianna Rhodes named MC's Female Athlete of the Year, she was also named the NJCAA Women's Field Athlete of the Year in the East Region. Overall, a pretty great year to be a Raptor. For MC in Focus, I'm Bridget Gratton. Thanks, Bridget. Well, that's all we have for our 2016 MC in Focus commencement show. We would like to thank all of our viewers for your support, as well as all the students, professors, and MC TV staff for giving us everything we need to succeed in our advanced broadcast journalism class this semester. Thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations again to all our Montgomery College graduates. For MC in Focus, I'm Monique Rossman. And I'm Michael Ginsberg. Good luck, grads. Have a great summer. <laughs>